Carmel Myers, an accomplished actress, made her mark in the film industry during the early 20th century. Born on April 4, 1899, Myers' career spanned over four decades, with her first film role in 1917. Myers is best known for her role as Eris in the 1925 classic film Ben-Hur. Her captivating performance in this epic film earned her recognition and acclaim, propelling her to stardom. Throughout her career, Myers appeared in over 100 films, including silent and sound pictures. She was a versatile actress, adapting to the changing times and technology in the film industry. Myers' contributions to the film industry extended beyond acting. She was also a talented singer and dancer, often incorporating those skills into her roles. In the 1950s, Myers transitioned to television, appearing in various shows, and becoming a household name. She continued to act until her retirement in the 1970s. Carmel Myers passed away on November 9, 1980, leaving behind a legacy of classic films and memorable performances. Her contributions to the film and television industry continue to resonate with audiences today. Carmel Myers was a prominent actress during Hollywood's silent film era. Her striking beauty and unique screen presence made her stand out among her peers. You might have first noticed her in films like The Ten Commandments or Ben-Hur, where she played memorable roles. What sets Carmel Myers apart from her contemporaries? Was it her ability to convey complex emotions through subtle facial expressions? Or perhaps her knack for choosing diverse and challenging parts? We invite you to share your thoughts on what makes this classic star special. Do you have a favorite Carmel Myers moment or a treasured memory related to her work? Maybe you discovered her films by accident, or maybe she inspired you in some way. We'd love to hear your stories and experiences. As we delve deeper into the life and career of this fascinating actress, prepare to discover surprising facts and untold tales. From joyous successes to heartbreaking setbacks, get ready to explore the highs and lows of Carmel Myers' extraordinary journey in the spotlight. So stay tuned, there's much more to come. Born on April 4, 1899, in San Francisco, California, Carmel Myers was destined for a life in entertainment. Her father, Louis Myers, was a successful businessman with a love for the theater. He often took his daughter to see plays and operettas, sparking her interest in acting at a young age. Myers' mother, Hedwig Kaufman, encouraged her creative pursuits and enrolled her in dancing lessons. As a child, Myers would put on performances for her family and friends. She loved being the center of attention and knew she wanted to pursue a career in the arts. After graduating high school, she attended the University of Southern California, where she studied drama under the guidance of renowned actress Maria Ospenskaya. Myers made her film debut in 1917 in The Little American. Despite initial struggles navigating Hollywood's competitive landscape, she persevered thanks to support from influential figures like director D.W. Griffith and actor Charlie Chaplin. They recognized her talent and provided valuable opportunities that helped establish her career. Griffith cast Myers in several silent films throughout the late 1920s and early 1920s, solidifying her status as a rising star. Meanwhile, Chaplin became a close friend and confidant, offering advice and encouragement along the way. Through these relationships and others, Myers honed her skills and developed into a versatile actress capable of tackling various roles and genres. Carmel Myers, an actress prominent in the early Hollywood scene, left her mark on both films and television shows. In the 1920s, she became a popular figure in silent films like The Ten Commandments and Ben-Hur. Later, she successfully transitioned into talkies, appearing in notable films such as Trader Horn and Jalopy. For those unfamiliar with Meyer's work, starting with her earlier appearances can offer insight into her talent. The Merry Widow, where she played Valenciennes, showcases her flair in comedic roles. Meanwhile, her performance as Salome and Salome demonstrates her ability to handle dramatic ones. Myers also made significant contributions to television. She appeared in various series during the golden age of TV, including Perry Mason, Alfred Hitchcock Presence, and General Hospital. Her guest role in Batman as Sweet Old Mistress Frankenstein remains memorable. Among all these works, two stand out as must-watches, The Ten Commandments and Traitor Horn. The former, being one of Cecil B. DeMille's epic productions, presents Myers amidst grandeur and spectacle. On the other hand, Traitor Horn provides viewers a glimpse into Myers' versatility, playing against type as a hardened adventuress. Both films serve as excellent entry points for exploring the career of this classic Hollywood star. As a young girl, Carmel Myers was captivated by the magic of theater. She would often accompany her father to plays and marveled at the actors on stage. 
One evening, a particular performance left a lasting impression on her. The actress portrayed a character filled with depth and emotion, evoking cheers and tears from the audience. At that moment, Myers knew she wanted to become an actress herself, driven by the power to move people through storytelling. Her passion led her to study drama and eventually grace both stage and screen, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances in silent films like The Ten Commandments and talkies such as The Thirteenth Guest. Carmel Myers, a good friend of fellow screen actress Mae Murray, and her husband and producing partner Robert Z. Leonard found herself in a terrifying situation. One evening in January 1932, two masked gunmen entered Myers' apartment and robbed her and her maid, Margaret Moore, making off with 20,000 worth of jewels. Myers' love for shopping was well known, and this was evident in her work as well. While filming Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ in Italy, she spent a significant amount of time shopping in major European capitals. The blonde wig that her character, Iris, wears in her first scene was even purchased by Myers during a shopping trip to Vienna. Despite the harrowing experience of the robbery, Myers continued to work in the film industry, leaving behind a legacy that would endure for years to come. Her portrayal of Iras in Ben-Hur remains a classic example of her talent and versatility as an actress. Carmel Myers, a talented actress, faced numerous challenges early in her career. Born in 1899, she grew up in a time when women's roles in the film industry were limited. Despite financial struggles, she pursued her passion for acting, demonstrating remarkable resilience. Meyer's family, though not well off, recognized her potential and supported her dreams. To make ends meet, she took on various jobs, including working as a movie extra and a scriptwriter. Her determination and hard work paid off when she landed her first leading role in 1919 at the age of 20. However, the film industry was skeptical of her abilities. Myers, a woman with brains and beauty, refused to be typecast in stereotypical roles. She sought challenging parts that allowed her to showcase her acting skills. In an era when leading ladies were often reduced to mere eye candy, Myers' insistence on being taken seriously as an actress was groundbreaking. Myers' creative solutions to industry obstacles were inspiring. She formed her own production company, allowing her to have more control over her career and the roles she played. This move was unprecedented for a woman in the early 1900s film industry. The actress's resilience and determination led to her successful career, spanning over four decades. She became a symbol of perseverance and a role model for aspiring actresses. Her legacy continues to resonate today, reminding us that challenges can be overcome with hard work, creativity, and a little bit of courage. After her passing, Carmel Myers was cremated and her ashes were scattered in the Rose Garden at Pickfair. She had strong connections in the industry, being the cousin of director Mark Sandrick and sister of director Zion Myers. The actress, known for her work in both film and television, built a career that left a lasting impression on audiences. Her roles were diverse and memorable, contributing to the golden age of Hollywood. Myers' family played a significant role in the entertainment business, paving the way for her own success. With their support and guidance, she was able to make a name for herself and become a respected figure in the industry. As an artist, the actress constantly challenged herself and explored different genres and mediums. From drama to comedy, she demonstrated her versatility and adaptability, making each performance unique and captivating. Despite being part of a talented family, the actress carved her own path and made a distinct impact in the entertainment world. Her contributions continue to resonate with fans and inspire aspiring actors today. Being cremated, and having her ashes scattered in such a meaningful location serves as a testament to the actress's love for the art of storytelling and her passion for bringing joy to others through her performances. Carmel Myers began her journey in Hollywood during its silent film era. Her breakthrough moment came with the release of The Ten Commandments in 1923. This epic drama directed by Cecil B. D. Mill showcased the actress's ability to portray complex emotions without dialogue, which was crucial in silent films. Meyer's performance alongside legendary actors like Theodore Roberts left a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. A few years later, she starred in another major hit, Ben-Hur, where her charismatic presence added depth to her character. Around this time, talkies started gaining popularity, but Myers managed to adapt smoothly due to her versatility. She even learned how to sing for her role in Trader Horn, demonstrating her commitment to evolving with the industry. One significant milestone in Meyer's career was being cast as one of the first female villains in Talking Pictures in The Trial of Mary Dugan. 
Critics praised her bold depiction of a morally ambiguous character, setting a precedent for future anti-heroine roles. Off-screen, Myers made substantial contributions too. Recognized for her style and elegance, she became a prominent figure at Hollywood parties, often hosting them at her famous Chinese-style home. Here, she rubbed shoulders with influential figures, further solidifying her status as a respected personality in the industry. In conclusion, through challenging roles and active participation beyond acting, Carmel Myers significantly influenced early Hollywood cinema. Carmel Myers faced many challenges throughout her life, including substance abuse and addiction. She was born on April 4, 1899, in San Francisco, California, and began acting in silent films during the early 1900s. Myers quickly gained popularity due to her striking beauty and talent. However, behind the scenes, she struggled with alcoholism and drug addiction. These addictions caused strain in both her personal and professional relationships. Myers eventually sought help and became sober. Despite these personal battles, she continued to act in various roles throughout her career, even moving into television later in life. Her work included appearances in classics like The Ten Commandments and Ben-Hur. Apart from her struggle with addiction, Myers also experienced loss when her husband passed away in 1976. Yet, she remained resilient and persistent in pursuing her passion for acting until her own death in 1980. Throughout her tumultuous journey, Myers demonstrated great strength and determination by overcoming her addictions and continuing to thrive professionally despite setbacks. Her legacy serves as a reminder that success can come after hardship and perseverance. Carmel Myers was an actress known for her striking presence on screen. She approached her work with great dedication, often immersing herself in roles to deliver authentic performances. Myers believed in thorough preparation, spending ample time understanding her character's motivations and background. This meticulous approach set her apart from many contemporaries. Her distinctive style combined subtlety and intensity. Rather than overt dramatics, she preferred understated delivery, allowing nuanced emotions to surface naturally. Her performance in the silent film The Merry Widow exemplifies this approach, where she portrayed a complex character with quiet strength. Meyer's personal experiences undoubtedly influenced her acting. Born in San Francisco in 1899, she witnessed the city's transformation after the earthquake. Later, growing up in Los Angeles, she experienced the burgeoning film industry firsthand. These formative years instilled in her a deep appreciation for resilience and adaptability, qualities evident in her career choices. World War I also left an indelible impact on her. After visiting soldiers overseas, she became an advocate for veterans' rights, even incorporating elements of this cause into some of her films. Such commitments underscored her belief in art as a tool for social change. Ultimately, Carmel Meyer's artistic vision was shaped by her times, personal journey, and a profound respect for her craft. Each role offered a new opportunity to delve deeper into human emotion and experience, making her contributions to cinema truly significant. In her later career, actress Carmel Myers took on the role of Estelle in the film Whistle Stop, marking one of her final appearances in a significant film role during the twilight years of the silent era. Following this, she occasionally emerged from retirement to grace the screens of the 1930s and 1940s with her presence, taking on various character roles that displayed her versatility. One notable instance of her post-retirement work was in the film Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ. During the production of this movie, author F. Scott Fitzgerald and his wife Zelda struck up friendships with several members of the cast and crew while stationed in Rome, working on revisions for The Great Gatsby. On Christmas Eve, the couple attended a special dinner held in honor of director Fred Nivlo and his spouse, Enid Bennett. Among those present were Carmel Myers, who portrayed her rise in the film. As a memento of the occasion, Zelda autographed one of the dinner menus, which eventually found its way into Myers' possession. Today, this unique piece of cinema history resides in the archives of the University of South Carolina Library. Carmel Myers, a silent film star, left an indelible mark on the industry with her striking beauty and powerful screen presence. She began her career in the early 1910s and quickly became a household name. Meyer's contribution to the industry was significant as she helped shape the way actresses approached their craft during the silent film era. Myers was known for her ability to convey complex emotions without the use of dialogue. Her expressive eyes and subtle facial expressions spoke volumes making her a favorite among directors and audiences alike. In this classic film Ben-Hur, she played the role of Iraz, a seductive Egyptian dancer. 
showcasing her versatility and range as an actress. Industry experts and those inspired by Myers have praised her contributions to the industry. As film historian Kevin Brownlow noted, Carmama Myers was a consummate professional, always prepared and always ready to give her all. Her influence can still be seen today as modern actresses continue to draw inspiration from her work. Myers was also a trailblazer in terms of her approach to storytelling. She was not afraid to take on controversial or complex roles, often pushing the boundaries of what was considered acceptable for women in film at the time. Her willingness to take risks and challenge societal norms helped pave the way for future generations of actresses. In addition to her work on screen, Myers was also a savvy businesswoman. She understood the importance of building a brand and leveraging her celebrity status to secure endorsement deals and other opportunities. Her success in this area served as a model for future generations of actresses looking to build a career in the industry. Despite the many challenges she faced as a woman in the film industry, Myers persevered and left behind a legacy that continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Her work serves as a testament to the power of perseverance, passion, and a willingness to take risks. Carmel Myers, the actress known for her role in Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ, had a variety of interests outside of acting. She dabbled in poetry and was also an avid swimmer, tennis player, and chess player. In fact, during the filming of Ben-Hur, many of the lead actors were kept waiting around in Italy on salary for an extended period of time. Myers used this time to go to Germany and film Garagan. Her co-star, Francis X. Bushman, even went on a 25-country tour with his sisters. Despite her love for acting and other hobbies, Meyer's life was not without its challenges. In 1931, she was involved in a car accident when the vehicle she was driving, which was lent to her by a theatrical agent named Milton C. Brin, overturned. Meyer sustained cuts to her face, a broken wrist, and a broken arm as a result of the accident. She ended up suing Brin for 50000 due to the incident. It's clear that Myers was a woman of many talents and interests, and she led a fascinating life both on and off the screen. Carmel Myers, a renowned actress, led a life full of passion and purpose beyond the silver screen. She was known for her love of literature, which often influenced her work on this classic films. Myers was particularly drawn to characters with depth and complexity, believing that stories should explore the full range of human experiences. In her personal life, Myers was deeply committed to various philanthropic efforts. She was an active supporter of the American Red Cross, often using her platform to raise awareness and funds for the organization. Myers also lent her time and resources to numerous other causes, including animal welfare and children's education. Myers' values were deeply informed by her belief in the power of empathy and compassion. She saw her work in film as a way to connect with audiences and inspire positive change in the world. In her philanthropic endeavors, Myers sought to make a tangible difference in the lives of those in need, using her influence to bring attention to important issues and promote meaningful action. The actress's love of literature also extended to her hobbies outside of work. She was an avid reader and collector of rare books, often spending her free time lost in the pages of a good novel. Myers believed that reading was a way to expand one's mind and gain a deeper understanding of the world and she was passionate about sharing this love with others. In her personal relationships, Myers was known for her kindness, generosity, and authenticity. She valued honesty and integrity above all else, and she was deeply committed to her family and friends. The actress's personal values and interests were deeply intertwined with her professional life, and she saw her work in film as a way to express her deepest passions and convictions. Through her philanthropic efforts and commitment to positive change, Carmel Myers left a lasting impact on the world. Her legacy continues to inspire and uplift those who knew her and those who have been touched by her work. Carmel Myers, like Rena Sofer and the late Mary Livingstone, was the daughter of a rabbi. This fact alone may have influenced her life and career, but her accomplishments as an actress stand on their own. Myers is perhaps best known for her work in silent films, where she captivated audiences with her expressive eyes and elegant style. She appeared in numerous classics of the era, including The Ten Commandments and Ben-Hur. Beyond her work in film, Myers also made a name for herself on the stage and on television. She appeared in various shows and plays throughout her career, demonstrating her versatility as an actress. Myers was also a mother to writer Ralph Blum. Her influence as a mother and as an actress may have inspired Blum's own creative pursuits. 
Despite the many years that have passed since Meyer's heyday, her work continues to resonate with audiences today. Her contributions to the world of entertainment have left a lasting mark, and her legacy as a classic actress endures. Carmel Myers, an actress who graced both stage and screen, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry during the early 20th century. Her work in silent films, like The Ten Commandments, showcased her ability to captivate audiences through powerful performances. Even after the arrival of talkies, she continued to shine in various roles, demonstrating her versatility and adaptability. Myers also played a significant part behind the scenes, producing and investing in shows, further solidifying her status as a trailblazer for women in Hollywood. In addition, she was known for her philanthropy and activism, often advocating for actors' rights and mental health awareness. For those hoping to follow in her footsteps, Myers would likely offer several pieces of valuable advice. Firstly, embrace change and remain open to new opportunities, adapting to shifts in technology and audience preferences allowed her to enjoy longevity in her career. Secondly, cultivate interest beyond acting as involvement in other aspects of production can lead to greater creative fulfillment and control over one's career trajectory. Finally, never underestimate the power of networking and forming strong relationships within the industry. These connections could prove instrumental in navigating professional challenges and opening doors to exciting projects. Carmel Myers faced personal tragedy when her first husband, sports writer Russell Birdwick, died by suicide in 1933. After a heated argument, he shot himself in their car while she was inside a drugstore. Myers discovered his body when she returned to the vehicle. This event had a profound impact on the actress, who was left to raise their young daughter alone. Despite this hardship, Myers continued to work in films and television, leaving behind a vast body of work that includes classics like Ben-Hur and The Ten Commandments. Her career spanned over four decades, making her a beloved figure in Hollywood. Carmel Myers, an actress who left her mark on the golden age of Hollywood, began her journey in 1915. She graced both silent films and talkies, displaying her versatility and adaptability. Her innovative spirit shone through as she embraced new roles and challenges, making her a compelling figure in this classic era. Myers captivated audiences with her powerful performances and enchanting presence. In Ben-Hur, she demonstrated her range as an actress, delivering a nuanced performance that resonates even today. Moreover, she boldly ventured into uncharted territory by producing and starring in her own television series during the medium's early days. This daring move further solidified her status as a trailblazer in the entertainment industry. Throughout her career, Myers remained dedicated to her craft and consistently delivered memorable performances. Even after her retirement from acting, her influence persisted, inspiring future generations of artists. Today, we remember Carmel Myers not just for her talent, but also for her courage, resilience, and determination to push boundaries. The story of Carmel Myers serves as a testament to the transformative power of creativity and perseverance. As she navigated the ever-evolving landscape of the entertainment industry, she proved that passion and innovation can lead to remarkable achievements and lasting impacts. As you reflect on the career of Carmel Myers, the actress who brought to life so many unforgettable characters, consider sharing your favorite memories and experiences with her films. What made her performances special to you? Which roles resonated the most? Your insights could spark meaningful conversations and help us all appreciate her contributions to the world of entertainment even more. Throughout her prolific career, the actress graced both the silver screen and early television shows, demonstrating her remarkable range and captivating presence. Her body of work includes everything from silent films like The Ten Commandments to talkies such as The Thirteenth Guest. She also left her mark on popular TV series like Perry Mason and Alfred Hitchcock Presence. As we celebrate this classic Hollywood starlet, don't hesitate to hit the like button if you enjoyed our tribute, and feel free to share it with friends who might appreciate reminiscing about Carmel Myers too. And remember, by subscribing to our channel, you can stay up to date with engaging stories about other influential figures who have shaped the landscape of entertainment over the years. So why not step into the vibrant world of these creative spirits alongside